In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do the tent stitch. The tent stitch is the stitch you do inside. It is different than the border stitch you have been using. All right. The great thing about tent stitch is that it completely covers your canvas without having that plastic show through. There's a, this is another st stitch that a lot of kids are tempted to use. It's a simple up and down stitch. It's great, but I call this the kindergarten stitch. And this is because as um, easy as it is, it does leave way too much plastic canvas in between. So again, we're gonna leave the kindergarten stitch to be a thing of the past and you are going to be doing the tent stitch. So let me move on to a different canvas just so we can get um, a close up. Here we go. Let's zoom in. Okay. And for the stitch, it's going to be square by square. You don't want to skip any squares. And basically this is the pattern of how you go ahead. You start from below, go up one diagonal. Start from below, up one diagonal. Start below, up one diagonal, and so on and so on until you reach the end of the row or wherever it is on the canvas you want to stop. So I will show you what that looks like with thread. Again, I'm just doing mine in the middle of the canvas just so you can see, but for you, you'll probably be starting likely on the edge. And here I go. I'm gonna start my needle from below like a little prairie dog, popping out from its burrow. So start from below, go up one diagonal. Okay. Again, start one below, up one diagonal. Start from below, and up one diagonal. All right, again, up, start from below, and up one diagonal, all right? So basically, if you're unsure where to start again, that below stitch is just right underneath the stitch that you would just finish from. This little guy right here. And that, my friends, is your continental stitch. When you're ready for the next row, you would just start your new, your top row will be your new bottom row. For example, if I need to move forward, my ch again, I'm gonna start now this row. Never wanna skip. Start from below and go up one diagonally. All right, there you go. That is your continental stitch. Oh, it does look like I'd skipped one, so I would just have to go back and fix that. Good luck. 